How do I take counsel from my own heart? How do I listen to my higher self? You can't be an artist and worry about what other people think. How is that possible? Oh, well, you can't be a person and worry about what other people think. And you certainly can't be an artist and worry about what other people think. You know, if you track this, you know, why do we worry about what other people think? I think you could probably take it back to your earliest uh, sensation that someone was judging you. And it was very painful. We find it very painful when people judge us. So, you know, if that happened when you were very, very little, and you're very, you know, artists are very, very sensitive. So, you know, it happens when they're little and they have that, then they're going to worry about what other people think of them. Certainly in puberty, your body is changing. You know, you don't understand. Often, every once in a while, someone goes through puberty looking beautiful. But for the most of us, you know, you're getting braces and you're not your most beautiful time of life. And, you know, we worry about what people think of us. And then we go into high school, which is freaking brutal, brutal place. It's not natural. It's not where anyone should. I mean, high school today is just like craziness. But anyway, you go into high school and you're trying desperately to find a group somewhere to belong, someone to have lunch with, and you worry about what people think of you. Um, if you try to create from that, impossible. That is impossible. There is no creating when you're worried about what other people think of you because you will try to create things that will make them like you. And that's what actors do in auditions and they don't book the part because they go on the audition and they go, ah, I do this thing that I think that you want me to do and that way I'll get the part. I'll do what I think you want and then I'll get the part. None of that can happen. The whole purpose of art is to, to, to show the path, you know, what is the next path? We're always, artists are always looking for the new, the new movement. Where is the new direction? You know, the Beatles, a whole new direction in music. We had a renaissance, really, in the 70s, painting and music and dance and Twalia Tharp, you know, she, she put ballet and and musical theater together and jazz and came out with something nobody had ever seen before and Beach Boys music, you know, it was like nobody had ever seen dancers move like that before. You know, painters in the 70s, nobody's seen paintings like that before. We don't, we don't have that right now. We don't have any new, what is the new, what is the forward movement? What is the new way? What is the Tao, the way? And, uh, Part of that, I think, is that we're living in a really judgmental society and artists put things out and everybody feels like they're a critic and, and they're mean and they're really mean. So you can't care about that. You, you know, even more importantly, you can't care about that because you have to set an example for those people. You have to not judge those people but say, poor people don't know where that's coming from, but it's really nasty. I'm glad I'm not going around getting my jollies by knocking people online. You know what I mean? Poor people, let's just set an example. Um, the way not to care about what other people think of you is to have confidence that you take counsel from your own heart. So that goes back to how do I take counsel from my own heart? How do I listen to my higher self? How do I find that same counsel I had at eight years old when I said, why not? They don't see me. I'm sad. And they said, well, we might have to be enough. Get over it. It was a very matter of fact. Get over it. We might have to be enough. You're blessed. You know, and I went, oh, okay. Okay. I don't think it solved it completely. But all of these things we have to practice. So we have, to, we have to recognize, oh, I really am caring what that person thinks of me. I think I'll let that go, you know? So first we have to recognize it. And that takes a little separation. That takes creating a little space so you can look at you, the personality. So you, the being, can look at you, this personality. We work so hard on these personalities. And we think they're great, but... Trust me, you're not your personality. You're something so much bigger, so, so much bigger. So once you know that, you connect to that, and you can listen to that. You can ask questions. You can listen. You can get become in a state and 
ask questions and wait for your heart to beat on the answer so that higher consciousness, inspiration can come into that space. You're not going to care what people think about. After, after you experience that, and you live intentionally from that, oh, this came in, I'm really excited, I know what my purpose is, I'm going to move in that direction, here are the steps I can take. Are you really condemning me? Sorry, don't have time. I hope your life gets better. You know what I mean? <laughs> you move forward, but, but it is that faith that you are on the right path and that you can continue on the right path because you have certain practices that will support that that will take you to a space of, I don't care what others think of me. I don't worry. It's not that you don't care. It's that you don't worry about it. You said something wonderful in the book, too. Something to the effect of we're rarely as bad as we think and as great <laughs> as we think. And that was that's a really freeing thought. Yeah, it is because, you know, actors, they think they're the best. They get it right. They get a great thing. And then they, they're like all charged. You know, they think I'm. Oh, cool, I'm great, I did that work, it's really good, you know, I'm great. And, and they talk about their talent, my talent, my talent, they go, oh, okay, that's good. And then the problem is that, that, that they dive from that. The minute they, they fall from grace, they fall from that to the depths of, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm crappy, and nobody likes me, and I'll never work again. You know, my father was an actor, oh my God, every time he was out of a job, it was like, I'm never gonna work again. I mean, they fall into this depressive state. And so I used to tell my actor, I gotta tell you something, you're never as great as you think you are. You know, when you're like pumping yourself up and feeling like, I'm hot shit, you know? Guess what? There's somebody else who's hotter shit out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're never as bad as you think you are. So you're somewhere in the middle. In the middle. Stop measuring it, because it's a distraction to measure, you know? Your time is like a bank account. You only have so much time, right? You know, it's 24 hours in a day, and da, 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 I don't know how many days I have on the planet, but you know, your, your time is like a bank account. You can either spend it this way, or you can spend it this way. That is your choice. This is very, very important. This is how you take control of your life. If you are spending your time worrying about what people are thinking of you, you don't have that time to do something more important. If you are spending your time puffing yourself up to I'm the greatest thing in the world, you don't have that time to go help your friend with an audition. If you, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's all about having enough awareness to see how am I spending my time? Does it contribute to my life? Does it contribute to my community? Does it contribute to, you know, 